Okay, so we are on our backs or making our way onto our backs. Again, you're gonna to wanna to have two blocks handy. You can place those at the front of your mat. We won't use those for a while. So go ahead and get comfortable. You can start in Shavasana with your legs extended out or uh, there's always Baddha Konasana, bottoms of the feet together, knees apart. Arms can be at your sides, palms up. Or I always like to have my right hand on my belly and my left hand on my heart. Just gives me an opportunity to really focus more on the breath as you feel your breath going down to the belly and filling up your balloon, like a, or your belly like a balloon and then noticing your right hand kind of going up and down with the breath. So just get comfortable, pick what works for you. So I'm gonna read you a little something something. It's called Simple Things. Sometimes we get so caught up in life that we forget that we don't always have to be busy. We don't always need to be checking our email or rushing to the next thing. We need to remind ourselves that it's okay and absolutely necessary to slow down, to take a break, to enjoy nature, to turn off the TV and simplify, be together, to enjoy a game of cards, to ask our kids what they're wondering about, to call our parents, to watch the sunrise, to enjoy the smell of a burning candle. We must never forget to enjoy the little things because they are never as little as we think. I think that line that says, call your parents is sticking out to me. Call your parents, call your parents. That's an important one. Well, maybe something resonated with you, maybe not. Well, just take a moment and maybe think about those simple things in your life that you miss because you're checking your email or your Snapchat. So I am playing my Equinox 24 playlist today if any of you are playing along with the music. So take a moment, set an intention for your practice. And then together, big inhale through your nose, fill up with breath and keep filling and keep filling some more till you literally cannot breathe in anymore and then pause. And then open your mouth and just let it all out. Be noisy ha, and just let it go. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. And then just take a nice smooth inhale and a smooth exhale. And when you're ready, go ahead and draw your knees into the chest. One hand on each knee. Give your knees a squeeze as you lift your hips off the mat. Shoulders slide down your back. Bring your thighs together. And let's just make some circles with your knees. So glue the thighs together and just big circles going one direction. And then go the opposite way. And let both of your knees just gently fall to the right. Look over your extended left arm. Option to have your right hand gently press down on your left knee. Take a few deep breaths here. Both shoulder blades should be on the floor. And then switch everything up. Knees go left, gaze goes right. So my daughter just made some really yummy smelling potatoes. And that is what I am bringing in right now. And Haley, your boys will be enjoying them very soon. Take one more deep breath right here. And then come on back to center. Release your feet to the floor, arms at your sides. Let's just start with a moving bridge to kind of get the energy flowing. Press down in your feet, lift your hips and reach your arms up and over your head onto the floor. And then as you exhale, imagine your hands like paintbrushes and just bring those hands back down to the floor. Keep the fingers spread and kind of loose. And just kind of move with the breath. Your inhales lift the hips and your exhales come on back down. And just do that a couple more times on your own. Make it feel good. You can choose to walk your feet closer to your body if you like. 
Let's do two more. Enjoy this nice slow beginning. We're gonna get moving and warming up in just a moment. When your hips meet the floor next, go ahead and draw your knees back in. This time we're gonna rock and roll a few times. I'm gonna have you meet in a standing forward fold. So take as many rocks as you like. Try not to use your hands if you don't need to. And then you're gonna take your feet hip width distance apart and just fold over your thighs. Let your head and neck go, shake it out yes and no. You might have your knees bent a lot here, which is perfectly fine. You're still sending your sits bones up to the sky. So you should, regardless if your legs are straight or bent, you should feel a nice lengthening in the backside of your body. Or maybe a, ooh, my hamstrings are tight kind of feeling like I'm having right now. Hands on your shins, inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, fold forward over your thighs. And then do that again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale and fold. I'm gonna have you bend your knees a little. Take your arms out like airplane wings. Reach through the fingertips. Find a super long spine and then inhale, rise up, reach up and look up between your palms and then seal your hands at your heart. Inhale, release the palms and rise up, reach up. As you exhale, long spine. Think about reaching forward through the crown of your head, not just going straight for the floor. Take your time. As you inhale, look forward. As you exhale, fold. Plant your hands. We're gonna step back to plank. So we're gonna use our planks as your warm up for your core. So you can just start to get really excited about that. I, I can feel it through the Zoom right now. So the crown of your head is reaching forward. Walk your feet as far back as you can and then send your heels to the back of the mat and then zip your core up. So there's a little tilt of your pelvis and lift of the core. So press down firmly into both hands. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, we're gonna lower halfway down and hover. Inhale. If you're not in the mood for this kind of ashtasana, you can drop your knee. My Bluetooth. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, come to plank. Lower halfway down. Inhale, straighten your arms and roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your left arm up to the sky. One more breath here. Come back to plank, lower all the way down to your belly. We're gonna come back to those in a few moments. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes. You're gonna press up to plank. So just press into those palms and then downward facing dog as you exhale. So settle in, this is our first down dog of our practice. If you wanna bend your knees and kind of take your dog for a walk, that works. If you wanna be straight, if you wanna take your feet wide, kind of go and explore your body, see where it's at today. Every day is a new experience on your mat. So we're gonna come forward to plank. You're gonna bring your, lift your right foot off the floor. You're gonna bring your right knee to your left tricep. Bring it back, bring your left knee to your right tricep. So it's kind of like a mountain climber, but we're going slow. Bring your right knee to your left tricep and your left to your right. And then give me a halfway down chaturanga. Press up and roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Vashustasana, just for one breath. As you begin to exhale, come back to plank. Lower halfway down. Inhale, straighten the arms. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Vashustasana. Come back to center. Right knee, left tricep. Left to the right, right to the left, go slow, really drive that knee forward, left to right, lower halfway down, straighten the arms, Vashustasana on the left, big inhale. As you exhale, find plank and lower chaturanga, straighten the arms, roll to the outer edge of your right foot, 
Come back to center. Let's do it again. Right knee, left tricep, left to the right. One more each side. Last time we're doing this, lower halfway down, straighten the arms, roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Come back to center, lower halfway, straighten the arms, roll to the right. Come back to center. This time lower all the way down to your belly. Nice job. Untuck your toes, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lower. Do that again. Come on up, tops of the feet, stay on the floor. Shoulders go down the back. You lift up as much as you like. Lower down. We're gonna do it again, come on up. This time just kind of roll your hips from side to side and look over that same shoulder that you're lifting of the hip. Should feel good. Or you can just kind of hold a lazy cobra Come back to center, lower down to your belly and make your way to downward facing dog. So your body should begin to be warming up by now. At the end of your next exhale, look forward, walk your feet, hop your feet, just make your way to the top. Inhale, look forward, exhale and fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up, look up and exhale. Hands to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. We're gonna sit down in chair pose. So bend your knees, sit down. So lift your toes off the mat, shift the weight to your heels and lower those hips, tuck the tailbone under. Take one more breath here and then just straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Shoulders over your wrists, lower slow chaturanga. Inhale, burst that heart through for cobra or up dog and make your way to downward facing dog. We're gonna take a big step forward with your right foot. You're gonna be in a runner's lunge. From here, you're gonna toe heel your right foot to the right once or twice, spin your left foot flat. And I want you to look back. Your feet should not be in line with each other. Right foot is more to the right. Then this right hip, look at it. If it's dumping out like mine is, nudge it back. Really hook that right hip back and then rise up, warrior one. So your hip bones should be facing the front of your mat. Arms are up, shoulders are down. Keep pulling the right hip back, left hip forward, and then sink a little more in your right knee and then press, press, press into the outer edge of your left foot. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Come onto the ball of your left foot. Right foot either steps back or you can float it and take your vinyasa. And then take a big step forward with your left foot. You're in that lunge. You're gonna toe heel your foot left. Spin the right foot flat. That left hip, tuck it back as you rise up, warrior one. So same thing here, keep pulling the right hip back. I'm sorry, left hip back, right hip forward, sink into your left knee and then make sure the outer edge of your right foot is pressing into the mat. Shoulders relax down the back, lower ribs hug in. One more big inhale. As you exhale, your hands come down, step back or float the left leg through your vinyasa. Pausing in down dog. At the end of your next exhale, walk or float your feet to the top. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. We look forward, exhale and fold. Bend your knees, sweep those arms up, Utkatasana. And then stand up, we're gonna find a nice back bend. Take your arms like goalposts and just open that heart, squeeze the shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, reach up. This time sit back down, chair pose. Two more breaths right here. Let your legs get a little fiery, lift your toes. As you exhale, fold over your thighs. Inhale, look forward, plant your hands, step back. This time we're gonna flow through this sun salutation B, one breath per movement. So from down dog, as you're exhaling, step the right foot forward Spin the left foot flat, you're still exhaling. And then as you begin to breathe in, come on up, one breath, full breath. 
like you're filling that belly as you begin to exhale hands down you're still exhaling as you step back and lower inhale into your back bend exhale into downward facing dog at the bottom of your exhale step your left foot forward spin the right foot flat as you inhale come on up as you begin to exhale your hands come down so we're probably all going at a slightly different pace right now and that's fine stay with your breath pattern your inhales your back bend and your exhale down dog we're going to do that one more time on each side right foot steps forward inhale warrior one as you exhale hands down lower through your chaturanga inhale to your back bend down dog is your exhale i'll be quiet on this one when you get to down dog next time just stay there spread your fingers press into your thumb and forefinger send your hips and sitting bones up and then send your heels down toward the floor one more breath look forward walk or float your feet to the top of your mat inhale look forward exhale and fold come on back to chair drop those hips reach the arms up one more breath stand up lean back goal plus the arms squeeze the shoulder blades down the back inhale reach up we're going to do that one more time exhale open the heart inhale reach up exhale fold forward uttanasana good inhale look forward Should be warmed up by now. If not, add in that vinyasa. Big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, sigh, let something go. Reach your right leg up on an inhale. Bring your right knee to your right tricep. You're going to hold it here for four breaths. So you can hang here, you can modify with your left knee down, or you can come into an arm balance, bending the elbows and extending the legs. Two more breaths. And then all we're gonna do is bring the left, I'm sorry, the right knee to the left tricep, hold it here for four breaths. So you can do the arm balance, you can send your leg through. I'll show you what that looks like this way. You can hold your leg like this, or you can drop it through for falling star. One more breath wherever you are. Then you're gonna bring your left hand down, come onto the ball of your left foot and drag that right knee towards your nose and plant your foot at the top of your mat. So now we're in a runner's lunge on the right side. From here, you're gonna spin your left foot flat. We're setting up for warrior one. So if you wanna toe heel your foot to the right, go for it. And then we're gonna come on up, warrior one. So your toes of your right foot are facing forward. Your right hip is drawing back. You're sinking into that knee and pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. Lace your fingers behind your back. Notice when you do which thumb is on top so you can switch it up next time. And then inhale, look up. While you're looking up, can you send your right knee forward a little bit more? Hug your right hip in and now bring your spine forward, forward, and then humbly bow into humble warrior. Crown of the head is down toward the floor, right hip draws back. Two more breaths right here. So from here, all I want you to do is peel your chest up. We're just gonna do a simple little thing here. Well, maybe not simple, little. You're gonna swivel onto the ball of your left foot. You're gonna look forward. Now you have choices, my friends. You can keep your hands here and come into warrior three, or you can say, no thanks, I'm gonna hang on to my blocks or my paper towel rolls and take it here, or hands at your heart, whatever you like. We'll be back here in a few more minutes where you can play with it again. One more breath, and you're just gonna step back to crescent pose. Big step back, so now we're on the ball of the left foot, release those arms up to the sky. Shoulders down your back, take a big inhale, 
and then left hand comes down, right arm goes up, take a twist. See if you can keep spinning your chest open toward the sky on your exhales. One more breath, take your arm over your ear, get long, and then right hand down, step back, take your vinyasa. Pausing in downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths there. Reach your left leg to the back of your mat. As you exhale, bring that left knee to your left tricep. Your choice is here. You can hang right here. You're pressing down into the mat, lifting that core. You can take the arm balance. You can let your thigh kind of rest on your tricep if you're not ready for that. And then we're gonna bring your left knee to your right tricep. You can stay right here. This is plenty hard. If you wanna take the falling star, that foot comes down, or I like to call this the Jay Hong. He always does it this way where you can hang on to your foot. One more breath. Can you reach up more with that right hand? Nice, bring your right hand down. Come onto the ball, ball of your right foot. Drag your left knee towards your nose. Plant your foot at the top of your mat. Spin your right foot flat, rise up, warrior one. Sink into your left knee, pull the left hip back. Press into the outer edge of your right foot. So I asked you guys to remember which thumb was on top. Do you remember? You're gonna switch it up this time. Take your hands behind you. Sink into your left knee. Keep that nice depth in the bend of your front knee and then let your hands slide down your back thigh as you gaze up. Take one more breath and then bring your spine forward. Crown of the head is reaching forward, get long. Humbly bow. From here, hug your left hip back towards your right heel. You're looking back towards your right foot. Crown of the head is relaxed down to the floor and you're reaching your arms over your head in that direction. You might not physically be going over your head. One more breath. All you're gonna do is bring your torso parallel to the floor. Come onto the ball of your right foot. From here, maybe you try. Can I do warrior three with my hands behind my back? You'll never know if unless you try. You can always move them somewhere else. But your right toes are flexed down to the floor. That will help with the balance. One more breath. Bend your left knee, step back onto the ball of your right foot. Release those arms up to the sky. Crescent pose. Let's bring that right hand down, left arm up, take your twist. Keep spinning that heart up, lean back, open that left arm like a wing, and then take that arm over your ear, get long. Left hand comes down, step back, take your vinyasa. Or if you always have an open path to say, no thanks on my vinyasa, I'm going right to down dog. So do what works for you. You do you. I've heard that a lot this year. You do you. So take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth side, out the mouth. On your next inhale, reach your right leg up behind you. Right knee to your right tricep. Hold here, play, do what you want. If you've never tried the arm balance, what are you waiting for? Nobody's looking at you. If you fall on your face, you're the only one who knows. Bring your right knee to the left. Either hold it here. You can take the arm balance here too. I have a very hard time with it because my arms are really short. It makes it difficult. Reach your left arm up a little bit more. Can you lift your left hip up a little bit more? Left hand down, right knee to your nose. Plant your foot at the top of your mat. Set up warrior one. Rise up when you're ready. That left foot is spinning flat. Your right hip is drawing back. Shoulders, relax down your back. Lace those fingers. Inhale, open the heart. Send your right knee forward as you gaze up. As you begin to exhale, come forward. Long, long spine. And come down, humbly bow. Breathe here. So we're gonna bring your torso parallel to the floor and come onto the ball of your left foot. I'm pretty sure we're only gonna do this one more time today. 
on this side. So if you wanna try it again with your hands behind your back, this is your chance. It's an exciting opportunity to challenge your balance. Who knew this could be such a fun opportunity? Stay here. So we're gonna go into a pose called toppling tree. What the heck is toppling tree? You're gonna stay where you are and as your leg goes up like a standing split, your head goes down toward the floor. Eventually you'll lose your balance, it might be right away, and you'll bring your hands to the floor or the box. And you'll be in standing split where your left leg goes up, left pinky toe is drawing down toward the floor. So look at your left foot. If it's turned to the side like I'm doing right now, half moon, don't do that, turn the foot down and then reach up on an inhale. As you exhale, come into Shiva squat. Your left knee comes behind the right, you get low. Your hands can be on the floor on the blocks or you can play with your balance. Inhale, standing split, which again, you can do in a balance position with your hands at your heart. Exhale, squat low. Let's do that one more time, why not? Inhale, reach it up. This time we're gonna hold the Shiva squat. So get low, that left knee again is tucked behind the right. And I'd like you to try bringing your hands to your heart. Give it a try. If you lose your balance, just bring them down. From here, we're gonna step back to crescent pose. Give it a shot. You might drop your knee, which is perfectly fine. You can take it here. We're gonna reach those arms up. Bring your hands to your heart. We're gonna take a twist, left elbow to the outside of the knee for a prayer twist. Now you can do this with your knee down. You can do this with your hand down and your arm up. So there's options. So do what works in your body this very moment. Draw that right hip back. Just a couple more breaths here. So if you do have your knee down, go ahead and lift it up because where we're gonna go next is warrior two. So spin your left foot flat and just open. Try not to straighten the leg. I want your leg to get fiery and sink into your right knee and gaze over your right hand. Can you soften your shoulders down your back? Unclench your jaw. Stop thinking bad words about me right now. And just think of something happy. Breathe into it. Hug in your biceps and triceps. Keep your legs as they are. Yes, keep them, reverse. If you need to straighten it, straighten it. Otherwise, stay right here. Side angle pose. You can have your hand on the floor, but not if you look like this. This is not where I want I want you here. My AirPods keep dropping. My apologies. I don't know why it does that. Come back to warrior two. Woo. My right leg is on fire. One more breath. You know we're about to straighten the leg, right? Here it is, straighten that leg. Ah, reverse your triangle, reach up and back. So you've got two straight legs here. Press down into that right big toe as you reach back, should feel so good. Come on up, reach forward, right hand down, left arm up. Take that arm over your ear. Stay here, breathe, or maybe a half wrap. Core junkies, float your right arm, or maybe you float both arms. Couple more breaths. Come on back to warrior two, sink into the knee, extend your arms. So where we're going next is half moon pose. So I want you to think about where we just were, triangle pose, okay? We were here, your hips, shoulders were all in the line. That's the same thing in your half moon pose. So you're gonna reach forward. Maybe you go right for the block or you float your fingers but find that triangle pose. Your left hip is gonna open. Maybe you keep your left hand right here on your hip and then reach your left arm up only if you want to. Lastly would be looking up toward the sky. Take a couple more breaths here. So where we're gonna go next is warrior three. So this left hip is gonna come down you're gonna bring your left pinky toe down toward the floor. We're not gonna be here long because we're gonna stand up on your right foot, take the left leg with you. So if you lost your balance, just come to Tadasana. 
and then give your leg a lift. So either you're here or your peace fingers grab your big toe. Maybe you have a bent extended leg or you have a straight extended leg. So find one that works for you. Good, and you're rooting down in your right foot and you're rising up through the crown of the head. So we're gonna take a twist from here. So if you have your knee, your right hand's gonna come to your knee and your left arm's gonna go back. If you have your foot, your right hand goes to the outside of the foot and you challenge your balance, maybe look back. So just breathe here, keep rooting down in your right foot. Just a couple more breaths and then from here, where we're going next is revolved half moon. So think of like physics class and there's that pendulum, it's coming right now. <laughs> I'm thinking Missy of our college class together. Send your left leg back. Your left hand's gonna go down to the floor. Now your right hand goes on your hips and you reach your right arm up for revolved half moon. Now this is a challenging pose. Yep, it is. So energize your left foot like crazy. And I'm gonna distract you and tell you about my physics class with my sister. <laughs> she was a fifth year senior and I was a freshman and we took physics together. We were lab partners. And she was fifth year thinking, no more partying on Thursday nights and our class was Friday at 8 a.m. Stupid me signed up for it. And she would just make fun of me as I came to class hungover every Friday morning, never learned my lesson. Take one more breath right here. Evan, I hope you're proud of me. As you exhale, bring your right hand down, step your left foot back into pyramid pose. So take your blocks with you. You're gonna frame your right foot with your blocks and you're gonna just fold, ah, should feel good. Draw your right hip back, left hip forward. Take some deep breaths here. So your left hip is forward, right hip back, couple more breaths. If you wanna take a revolved triangle, go for it. I'm not gonna cue you through that. I'm gonna keep us here in pyramid, but that is an option if you want it. This should feel good. Two more breaths. You're gonna look at your right foot and step your left foot next to it. If your blocks are framing your right foot, just move them back to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips a lot. Utkatasana, reach your arms up. So I'm gonna just face this way. We're gonna bring your hands to your heart, just like we did in that crescent twist. And we're gonna take a prayer twist here. Now there's always options. You can hang out right here. This is fun. Make sure your right hip isn't dumping out. Nudge it back. Look at your knees. They should be in line with each other. If not, adjust your hips. If you wanna take side crow, your hands come to the outside of your yoga mat on the edge. You line your hands up. You find chaturanga and you tip over like a teapot and you make that shelf. You can keep your knees stacked. You can extend your legs out. You can ignore all of the above and just stay right here. Just a couple more breaths. All we're gonna do is straighten the legs and fold. So when you've had enough, straighten the legs, let it go. Let's take our feet hip with distance apart. Peace fingers, grab your big toes. So wrap them around, your thumb touches your first two fingers. Inhale, look forward. Now you can have knees, knees bent here. You do not have to have straight legs. Fold over your thighs. So we did this in our warm up where I said you can have bent knees, but your sits bones, these bones in your tush, lengthen up. So you should feel a deep hamstring stretch, regardless if your legs are straight or bent, it doesn't matter. Shake your head out, no more muscular tension. Whatever you experience this week, let it go. Release your toes, inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back and lower through your vinyasa or just go to down dog. Or if you need a child's pose, this is your opportunity to take that child's pose. So I'm gonna give you options, down dog, child's pose, or if you've got lots of energy today, come with me, put your forearms on the floor. For dolphin, you're gonna lace your fingers together. You're gonna tiptoe your feet towards your elbows. Remember, you can be in child's pose or down dog right now. 
If you're coming with me and going, why am I doing this? Go to child's pose. Come forward with your chin as you inhale. As you exhale, send your chest back. Four more of those. This is called a dolphin push-up. Getting into your shoulders. Great pose if you've got a lot of muscular tension in the shoulders, maybe sitting at a computer, typing all day. All right, that was five. We're gonna meet back in down dog. So if you wanna get it there a challenging way, unlace your fingers, spread your fingers, and in one fell swoop, press into your hands and straighten your arms, and then just walk your feet back to down dog. On your next inhale, reach your left leg up, left knee to left tricep. Hold it here, take your arm balance, whatever you want. This is your last time doing this. You excited? Bring your left knee to your right tricep. You can take the arm balance. You can do your falling star, whatever you like. You guys know the drill by now. One more breath. As your right hand comes down, your left knee comes to your nose and you take a giant step forward. Set up for warrior one. Left hip draws back, come on up. Lace your fingers behind your back. Hands slide down your back, inhale, look up, and then come forward, humbly bow. Is your left hip drawing back? If it's not, go for it. Hug it back towards your right heel. One more breath. You're gonna bring your spine parallel to the floor. That's all you have to do. Then spin onto the ball of your right foot. Then find your warrior three. So it is helpful to look forward, focus your eyes about two to three feet in front of you and flex your right toes. Try staying here with your fingers. Eventually your hands, like mine, just plop down. You're gonna send your leg up and we're gonna meet in standing split. Look at your right foot. Your right toes should be down toward the floor. Just give me two more breaths here. On your next one, can you send your leg a little higher and then sheep a squat, right knee behind the left. Get low. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, Shiva squat. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, Shiva squat. So that right knee is tucked behind the left. Can you play with bringing your hands to your heart? Give it a try. You can use your blocks. So if you lose your balance, your blocks are right there to catch you. Think of your blocks like your friends. They're there to lean on. One more breath. Take a big step back into crescent pose. So land in a lunge and then come on up. Remember, you can take crescent B and drop your right knee to the mat. Bring your hands to your heart, bring your spine forward, right elbow hooks to the outside of that left knee. Crown of the head reaches forward, right heel reaches back. You can modify bringing that right hand down. You can modify with the knee down. You can advance it by taking a bind as well, or an arm balance. Do what suits you today. Two more breaths. I want you to keep that nice big bend in your left knee. You're gonna spin your right foot flat, warrior two. To spin it flat, you should be fine with your alignment from where you were. Maybe widen your stance a little bit. Reach through your arms, sink into your left knee. Breathe here. If you're car carrying the weight of your world on your shoulders right now, let them fall. Let that stress just go down your back. Let gravity just take it right off your body. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Don't think about the legs, just the upper body moves. If you need a break, straighten your leg. Side angle pose. I always recommend forearm to thigh first. If you feel like you have more space, maybe hand to the floor or the block, maybe a half or full wrap, but only if your right shoulder is back. It's not forward over here. It's leaning back like you're touching the wall behind you. On your next inhale, come on back to warrior two. Stay here, breathe. 
straighten your left leg. Reverse your triangle, reach up and back. This should feel good. Get that nice blood flow rushing through that left leg. Inhale, come on up. We're gonna reach forward, shorten your stance if you need to, bumping your right foot up and find that triangle pose. Ah. Take about three more breaths. Yogi's choice, what you're doing with your arms. Floating your arms, half wrapping, full wrapping. Come on back to warrior two. So just rise on up, sink into that knee. You're gazing over your left hand. Okay, so half moon pose is where we're going. Think about the word floating into half moon. Okay, so you're gonna energize this left hand. Maybe right hand comes to your hip and you're gonna energize this right leg as you lift it up. And you're extending through your fingertips and your right foot, if you're using your block, is to the diagonal of your right pinky toe. I'm sorry, left pinky toe. You can keep your hand here and kind of nudge that right hip open, reach back through your right foot, like you're pressing into an imaginary wall. So where we're going next is warrior three. So you can just bring your right hand to a block if you want and take a modified warrior three, or you can float your arms somewhere. We're not here very long because we're gonna come up to standing on your left foot. So see if you can just float the leg up or if you need to come to Tadasana first, come there. Give your knee a lift. So again, you're either lifting that right knee up or you're taking an extended leg, any version. You do not have to have a straight leg. It might look like this. That's fine. You're rooting down in your left foot. You're rising up through the crown of the head. Keep your eyes focused on something that isn't moving. So do not look at your dog. And then we're gonna take a twist, left hand to the outside of the foot or the knee and reach that right arm back. Maybe you look back. So if you're afraid of falling, ask yourself why, why it matters. You're in a yoga pose. All that's gonna happen is your right foot's gonna slip and you're gonna come down to the floor. Your foot, not your body, your foot. That's it, and then you just come back to it. Okay, one more breath to give it a try if you haven't yet. And then we're gonna take this right leg back. It's that physics class again, it's your pendulum. Right leg goes back, right hand down to the mat. Don't worry, I'm not telling you another physics story. Left hand goes to your hips. It should be nice and even here. Flex your toes and then send your left arm up to the, class, to the sky. Check in with your right leg. Mine has a tendency to get lazy here. So put lots of energy like you're pressing into an imaginary wall behind you and focus on your breath. And spinning your left chest open a little bit more. One more breath. Bring your left hand down. Step back pyramid pose. Very different than triangle. Okay, so it's a shorter stance. I like to frame the foot with my blocks. You can try that if you like. So this right foot should be flat. The toes are turned in a little bit. So if you're really close like this, see if you can slide your foot back a little bit more. When your heel lifts, then I want you to bring your foot a little bit closer so your foot is flat. And then inhale, look forward. Left hip draws back, so kind of nudge it back a little bit and then fold over your left thigh. And just breathe here, a couple of deep, deep breaths. Bring that chin toward the chest. That's the, one of the three root locks in the body. It's called the Jalandhara Bandha. It's in the throat, kind of the throat chakra area. If you wanna take that revolve triangle, I would recommend doing it if you did it on the other side. Two more breaths right here. And then we're gonna just step your right foot next to your left. You can move your blocks off the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. This time we're gonna rise up to standing. Just reach your arms up, sit down in your chair pose. So have a seat, hands come to your heart. Take that chair twist. 
This is the last standing pose we're doing. We're coming to the floor next. So use that opportunity to just take what feels right for you. Right now, this feels amazing on my low back. So I'm staying right here, but if you wanna take side crow, go for it. Make sure your knees are in line with each other. If your right knee is in front of the left, that means you just need to draw your right hip back a little bit. Just two more breaths, that's it. On your next exhale, fold over your thighs. Let that go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, just fold. So we're gonna come to down dog. If you want a vinyasa to kind of cleanse all that out, you can come with me. Otherwise, down dog is where we're going. I always like to use the analogy of vinyasas like the sorbet between meals or courses, kind of just cleanses everything out. Let's come to a child's pose. Knees go to the edges, big toes together. Hips go back. So your knees are wide to make room for your torso. Arms maybe are extended forward or maybe We're gonna walk your hands back toward your knees, bring your thighs together, and I'm gonna face you guys. You're gonna just bring your hips to either side and swing your legs around in front of you. So we're gonna do a whole bunch of poses on one side. So we're gonna start with your left knee bent like this toward the front of your mat. And we're gonna start with fire log pose. So this is like a double pigeon pose. So you, I'm gonna show you options as I always do. So what the full pose looks like is something like this. Your ankles and knees are in line with each other. This might not be what your body looks like right now. You might have a big space here where you can grab your paper towel rolls or your block and rest your knee on it. If this is not an option for you, option three is just have your right shin in front, okay? So pick what works for you. And I want you to then flex your feet and sit up tall. From here, you might want a block handy. So keep one next to you. Inhale, reach up. You're gonna reach forward, bring your hands down to the floor, just the fingertips, and start to crawl your fingertips out. So I mentioned you might wanna block right here. You can stand it at any height that works for you and just rest your forehead on it. That way there's no tension in your neck. You just rubbed it away, giving yourself that nice little massage. But while you're here, please keep your feet flexed. Use your exhales to let go of whatever you're holding on to in your hips. Two more breaths right here. And then you're gonna walk your hands back up. Where we're gonna go next, you're gonna take your left leg straight out in front and I'm gonna give you some more options here. So either option one, your right foot is inside your thigh. Option two, you take that foot over your leg and then take this left foot and sit back. But you're sitting in between your feet so you shouldn't be sitting on your foot. So pick either of those, okay? So we're either here or here and then sit up tall. You're gonna take your left elbow over your knee and look back. So if you're taking this straight leg out, you, either you hug your knee in like this or you hook it and look back. But pay attention to your spine. I obviously can't see most of you because you have your cameras off, but if you are hunching forward, take your inhale, get taller, lessen your twist. Don't worry so much about your twist, but get a long spine and then look back over that right shoulder. Make sure you keep that length, reach up through the crown of your head. One more breath, just like this. Keep looking back, draw your belly button in, deep in the twist, bring your gaze forward first, and then just take your arms, lean to the opposite side. And then come on back up. So if you're twisted like I am, come back to where 
everybody else's. And then from here, you're gonna just let your knee fall open. So now we're in like a seated tree pose. Grab this left thigh, give it a little spin, bringing it toward the bottom of your right foot. Flex your toes, inhale, reach up. Twist and fold. If you have a strap, maybe you place a strap around your foot. If you're tight in your hamstrings and you don't have a strap, don't worry about it. Just have your hands on your thigh or on your shin. Keep this foot flex leg active. One more breath. And then we're gonna do one more twist or one more um, pose on this side. Come on up, you're gonna grab this left leg. Take your fingers, make a little basket by lacing them and place your hands around the bottom of your foot. You're gonna work towards straightening your legs. Notice I didn't say you need to straighten your leg. It's gonna look a little something like this. We're gonna take your hand to the outside of your foot. You can have a bent knee, it's fine. Take a twist, maybe you have a straight leg. This is for your IT band. So if you're feeling like, oh, I feel a ton right here, that's normal, especially if you're a runner. One more breath. And then come on back to center, give that leg a lift and release it. Take both of your legs out, just give them a little shake, a little jiggle asana. And then we're gonna switch things up. So now we're gonna bend your right knee and place that left ankle on top. Maybe it works on this side. Maybe this side, oh no, my hip, you know, Jake, I don't know how your hips are with this. So just honor how you're feeling in this pose, okay? Put a block here, put your shin in front, doesn't matter. Flex your toes, inhale, reach up, and then come forward. Fingertip your, crawl your fingers out, grab your block if you like. Take some deep breaths here. Right now I've got every breath you take from Sting on. Yep, take some deep breaths with Sting right now. Try to match your inhale count with your exhales. Maybe inhaling for three, four, or five. Have your exhales match that. One more breath here. And then you're gonna walk your hands back up. So we're gonna set up for that twist. So either left foot into your right thigh like this, or you take that foot across and then bend that knee back. But you're sitting, again, both your cheeks are on the mat. You shouldn't be lifted up or sitting on your foot. And then sit up nice and tall, take an inhale. This right elbow comes across or your forearm comes across. You look back, stay on those left fingertips as you look back. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, look back more, suck your belly button in, grow taller. Couple more breaths here. One more breath. Bring your gaze forward. Bring your hands around the opposite side. Kind of lean into it. Little counter pose. And then come on up. If you're in this shape with me, you're going to then take that leg out. No, we did that on the other side. This way. Let your knee float open. Inhale, reach your arms up. Twist a little and then reach, 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 and fold over your thigh. Right toes are flexed. Back of your thigh is pressing down into the floor. What we tend to do in this pose is bend the knee. So try not to let that happen. Instead, engage your quadricep. That will press your thigh down. And look over your foot. One more breath, walk your hands back up. So we're gonna take the lace fingers around the bottom of your right foot. So you can bend your knee to do that. 
and then work towards straightening. It does not need to be straight. Your shoulders do need to be down your back though. So if you're all hunched up like this, you're just killing all the work you just did in your yoga practice to let go. So relax the shoulders down. And then we're gonna take that twist. So right hand to the outside of the foot, your leg can be bent and then you reach back. Or sorry, left hand to the outside of the foot. I'm opposite of you guys. Couple more breaths, breathe, breathe, breathe into that IT band. And release it, take both legs out in front of you. Keep that little jiggle, wiggle going. Grab. My AirPods are making me nuts. Okay, we're gonna lower onto our backs. We're gonna do a back bend. We started a few minutes late. So if you have a hard stop for yourself, it is 10.30 or 12.30 or 1.30 for some of you. <laughs> Walk your feet toward you. We're gonna do about five more minutes here. Set up for bridge and then press into your feet, lift your hips. You can do what you like with your arms. Maybe lace the fingers and walk the shoulder blades underneath. Maybe you bend your elbows. If you've never done this, it's great. Press down in the elbows, lift your hips. Maybe you've had enough. Put the block underneath you. Take your bridge here. It's nice and supported. I'm gonna give you about three more breaths here in whatever you wanna do in your back bend. If you wanna come into wheel, feel free. I'm gonna hang out on my block. If you do have a block underneath you like I do, you're gonna press down in your feet to remove it and let's all lower down onto the spine. Draw your knees in. We're gonna find happy baby. Grab the outer edges of your feet and just gently rock from side to side. Think about pressing your sacrum down into the mat. And bring your legs together. From here, if you don't have a block, just come right here. If you do have a block, place the block underneath you for our supported shoulder stand. So either you're on the mat and your legs are up or you're on a block and your legs are up. So we all have similar shape here. Your ankles, knees, and hips should be in one straight line. So I don't want you like this, how my feet are toward my head, straight up. Let gravity just kind of reverse the blood flow here. That's the purpose of this pose. So when I used to teach kids yoga and there was a birthday in the class, we called this birthday candle pose. So sung here is your birthday candle. Make a wish. Take some deep breaths here. One more deep breath. Carefully bring your feet down to the floor. If you're on a block, just press your feet down, lift the hips to remove it. And then let's all draw the knees into the chest, rock from side to side. Give your right knee a squeeze and let your left leg go long. So really squeeze that knee up and then take the knee across your body for a twist. Look over that extended right arm. Maybe you get a little chiropractic adjustment right here. Come on back to center. We're gonna switch it up. Draw your left knee in, right leg long, and guide your knee across your body. there are any other poses you wanted to do today, you can always do those on your, your right now and just log off and take your own Shavasana. Otherwise, come back to center. Give both of your knees a squeeze. Lift your nose up towards your knees. Take a big inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're going to release it into Shavasana. If you are playing along with my playlist, you're going to want to put on one of the last two songs. Allow your feet to just roll open. Your feet can flop off of the yoga mat entirely. 
You may want even to put on a sweatshirt or a blanket if your home is chilly like mine is. And then take a big inhale through your nose and a big letting go sigh into Shavasana. Slowly begin to bring some awareness back to the body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. On your next inhale, reaching your arms over your head onto the floor for one final stretch from the fingertips all the way to your toes. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest, gently rocking from side to side to massage your low back. Letting your knees gently fall over to the right. Just taking a moment here, not rushing out of it. And just kind of noticing how you're feeling, your energy, your mind, your body. And then when you feel ready, come on up to a seated position. And when you arrive there, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes and just bring your hands to your heart center. Taking a moment to give yourself a pat on the back for making time in your day. Hopefully you don't have too busy of a weekend, but making time just for that self-care, taking care of ourselves, which we so often forget to do, which is more important now than ever before. So together, big inhale through your nose, fill up with breath. And a big open mouth sigh, let it go. One more time, just like that. Big inhale. A nice big exhale, let that go. Thank you so much for rolling out your mat and joining me this morning as we practice in this lovely journey of yoga together. May the sun always shine through your heart into your smile and warm your soul. Have a lovely, lovely day. Namaste.